Look, we expect the Federal Reserve to lift its policy rate again by 75 basis points. Uh, it did that last uh, time at the last meeting. And of course, that's a pretty aggressive move uh, in terms of interest rate hikes. The, the US has a, an inflation challenge and they're dealing with it by tightening monetary policy and, and quite quickly. Well, we're already seeing the impact of recent US rate hikes with growth somewhat slowing and the housing market softening. How much more pain will the Fed need to inflict to get inflation, which we know is at four decade highs, under control? Look, we think the Fed's got a few more hikes ahead of it. Uh, we think after lifting rates tomorrow, uh, they've still got a few more, a sequence of hikes right out to the first quarter of next year. And we think by then that the Fed funds rate will be 3.875, so almost 4%. Um, that would be obviously a, a, a significant sequence of, of interest rate rises from late last year, having been, or earlier this year, being, being around 25 basis points. Uh, but that's the sort of nature of the challenge that they face, a significant inflation challenge, and the Fed is looking to deal with it by tightening policy a great deal. Well, on that inflation challenge, where do you see it heading in the US and the rest of the world? Well, so US inflation is, is very high, as, as we've described, but it's not a unique story. It, it's happening uh, across uh, the world, particularly the Western world. And um, we've seen, of course, the ECB lift its policy rate. And we've seen central banks across uh, Europe lifting, lifting rates and, and across much of the Western world. Uh, we think there are more hikes to come. Uh, the, the, the central banks are, are, are lifting rates to try and get inflation to head back to target. Uh, although if you look at the global picture, the fact that commodity prices look as though they've passed their peak, is one positive signal that inflation might just have passed uh, its peak as well, that inflation might start to ease in coming quarters. Paul, you mentioned those central banks around the world tightening monetary policy to get inflation under control. How is that playing into the RBA's decision-making process around rates here? Well, it's a very similar story, uh, that inflation is picking up here. We'll get another print, of course, uh, later this week in terms of what's happening with inflation locally. And the RBA has had to change its tune and its approach quite rapidly. We've already had 125 basis points worth of hikes from the RBA, the fastest set of hikes we've seen since the mid-1990s. And we think actually the RBA is going to do at least that much. That's that's our central case, overcoming quarters, getting their cash rate up to 2.6. And, and so that's a, that's a very similar story locally to what we're seeing going on globally. Well, our inflation numbers are relatively lower when compared to other countries. Where do you see inflation heading here? Well, we think the next inflation print that we get this week is going to show inflation lifting again uh, to 6.3%. Uh, we think that we're going to rise a bit further into the third quarter and, and get it into that sort of 7%, a little above the 7% sort of level. But if the global inflation story is genuinely past its peak, uh, and of course the RBA and central banks around the world are, are busy lifting interest rates to try and slow down demand, uh, we think inflation might start to come down a bit from, from that point forward. Well, US GDP second quarter is coming up at the end of the week. Do you think a recession is coming? And what are the cases for and against that argument? Oh, look, the, the team has in mind that actually GDP will be dead flat in the second quarter. Uh, that follows a decline in the first quarter. So it's about as close to calling uh, uh, two, two quarters of, of, of weakness that you might expect. Um, but even if the GDP was to contract, actually outright fall in the second quarter, it's still hard to argue that the US is in a recession yet. Uh, you know, a recession is, is not just about GDP. The labour market has still got a considerable amount of momentum. And in the US, this is determined by an independent committee, whether they're in recession. So look, they are slowing down. Gro growth is, is slowing down. Uh, and and that's, that's part of the plan to try and get inflation, of course, out of the system as well. We've got to keep that in mind. Paul Bloxham, thank you for joining us. Thank you.